Hi, thank you for choosing Rebel Point. In this video, I'm going to show you how to successfully calibrate your Morocco 3D scanner. And note that you don't have to do it after you received your brand new Morocco because we have already done all the calibration in the factory. So probably after a year, then you might need to do it, especially when you are feeling something is wrong, like uh, you feel pretty noisy when you're scanning an object or misalignment. And you can detect the accuracy in the software, both in Morocco or in a Rebel Scan PC. It'll tell you, do you need to recalibrate it? And of course, you can choose to do the calibration even though you don't need it, but it's just a waste of time. It won't break your scanner. So before start the calibration, here is what you need to prepare. First is your, of course, your Morocco 3D scanner. And you don't have to use a PC because the Morocco software also has this calibration function. And a cable, of course, if you want to use PC, you need a cable to connect it. And five, here are two sets. There are in total five calibration boards. This small one is used for near mode and these four big ones are for the far mode. So I'm gonna show you how to do it on the PC Rebel Scan software. So first, now let's connect the Morocco 3D scanner to the PC. And note that this uh, cable come along with your scanner is a type C to type C. So if you need a type A port in your computer, you can uh, try to use like uh, your phone cable. That'll do. After it pops up, we choose use Morocco in PC mode and click OK and wait for a while it'll be connected after connected let's go to rebel scan software page find this scanner calibration click that it'll take us to the calibration page okay here are some instructions do read that it's very useful so first lighting condition i'm showing a bad example i'm in the studio making video so i need strong light but that could cause calibration problem so the preferred lighting condition is very mild not too dim not too strong Okay. And some more instructions on how to uh, operate your scanner. Just keep my word in mind. It's just very stable and very still and you'll be fine. Okay, Just don't shake. For left and right tilt, backward and forward tilt. I'll show you later. So it offers us a chance to start some practice. It's very useful. Let's follow that. Okay, Let's find a small calibration board. And here, as you can see, there are three bars here. Look, your job is to maintain the three bars in green and also match the two cross, just like you are aiming at something. Okay, now as you can see, I am maintaining the three bars very okay, so it will successfully capture the data. Okay, so before starting the calibration, you will need to check your accuracy. So same thing as in the practice, maintain in green and match to the red cross okay easy right so as you can see my accuracy check has passed which means my scanner does not require a calibration so in this case you can switch to a far mode and check the far mode accuracy or you can continue the calibration regardlessly and note that it won't break your scanner. It's just a waste of time to do the collaboration even though you don't need to, okay? But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's continue the calibration. Here, it'll just tell you you need to hold it tight. And still, first is vertical. So during vertical, we need to put it like this, very flat with orientation, okay? Uh, actually, sitting here might be not easy to operate, you know? You can do it like me, stand up so you have more control of your body, it'll be easier for you. Okay, so first, this and lift up the heightness. Okay, done. Lift up once again. Okay, done. So second step, left, which means you need to tilt your scanner a little bit. And how much, don't worry, the indicator will tell you. The scanner row adjustment, look, now I just tilt a little bit on the left. See, it's okay. So adjust the highness a little bit. Okay, done. Okay, lift it up. Okay, match to the red cross. Okay, done. And once again, lift up. Okay, 
so left side is done. Now right side, tilt your scanner to the right. So first let's get the indicators right. Okay, and heightness, okay, correct. Okay, move a little bit to the right to match the red cross. Okay, done. Lift up a little bit. Okay, one more time. Okay, so now front. Front means you need to tilt your scanner to the front. I will be forward this way. Okay. Okay, indicator, a little bit more, no problem. Lower down and match it. Okay. Okay, once again, lift it up. Match it. Lift up a little more. Match it again. Okay, last step, back, means you tilt your scanner backwards. Okay. Okay, up, and up again. Okay, so now all the calibration steps are done. We just wait for it to process. Okay, now calibration has completed. You can choose to discard this data or save this data. Okay, now calibration has completed. So now next step, you can choose to finish if you don't need to recalibrate your far mode camera or just click switch to start the far mode calibration. And you need to wait a while to switch from near mode to far mode, just like you switch modes in Morocco. While we're waiting, let's set up the far mode calibration board. So you need these four boards into one set. And one more thing is, it's better to put this black sheet of plastic paper underneath to reduce the disturbance, just like this. Okay. Okay, and mind that you don't have to worry about the orientation. For example, this will do, doesn't matter, so just only one thing is to put them together into one big piece of calibration board. Okay, now we can start calibration. First, it asks you to check the accuracy of the far mode again. Let's do that. And remember, maintain the three indicator bars in green and match to the red cross. Okay, accuracy check pass. Now you can choose to finish or continue calibration anyway. And because I'm showing you, let's continue to do that. First is vertical. Let's maintain it in a very vertical position. And okay, adjust the heightness. Steady and keep it still. Okay, first, done. Second, let's lift it up. Okay, oh, 80 centimeters. Okay, down, now left side. Now you need to tilt your scanner to the left. About how much, don't worry, the indicator will tell you. Look, now I'm at a very good position. Okay, steady. Okay, first, done. Second. Okay, left side is done. Now, right side. Now, tilt your scanner to the right. Okay. First, 40. Okay, now, 60. Okay, done. Now, last step, backwards. Tilt your scanner to the back. Again, the indicator will tell you how much. Okay, that's about right. Okay, finished. Easy, right? 
So now we have finished all the calibration process. You can choose to save the data from for the farm mode or choose to discard it. 